Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. Last time we picked up all the items I couldn't pick up in the video before that, due to having no inventory space, and began the Cinnabar Island Gym. So now, let's continue on. Pokemon Quiz, get ready, the door to the next room opens. If you mess up, you have to battle. Here we go, Polywag evolves three times. No, it does not, but I'm gonna say yes. I just like using fire Pokemon. Okay, so this is the third trainer, and of course he's a burglar. Blurgler? <laughs> burglar. Okay, and of course, Ponyta. We like we haven't seen enough of these from the Pokemon Mansion. It almost seemed as if they were starting to chase me. Wait, what? You only had one Pokemon? Too hot to handle! And you also have to wait for the door to open itself. I wish there was a thief Pokemon. I'd use that. Well, something close happens in the sequels, but I'm not saying what it is. And next quiz. Let's see. What is it this time? Are Thunder moves effective against ground element type Pokemon? No, they're not. I know why Blaine became a trainer. Well, do you know why he became a gym leader? That's a good question right there. And Rapidash, the evolved form of Ponyta, and I believe probably the fastest fire type in the game. Either that or it's Arcanine. I do not remember which, because they're both pretty fast as far as I remember. And again with only one Pokemon? Ow! Jeez, that was easy. Blaine was lost in the mountains when a fiery bird Pokemon appeared. Its light enabled Blaine to find his way down. Hmm, that sounds inspiring. Okay, fourth quiz. At least I think. Oh wait, no, this is the fifth one. <laughs> Uh, let's see... Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. Yes, they are, but, uh, I'm gonna say no. That one's another trick question, actually. And, first time I ever went through this game, I was going, what? I was really scratching my head for that one. I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite. Although the next quiz is a really funny one, and probably my favorite of them all. Okay, so yet another ball fix. What else is new? Just another bubble beam on to uh, do the job, and that's it. I'm thinking that Tsunami's gonna level up soon, actually, because it's been a little while since... Actually, granted he's at level 51, it's probably gotta take a few thousand more experience points. Yowza! Too hot! Us Fire Pokemon fans look like Ponyta and Ninetales. Now let's see, just how strong... That's not what I meant to do, and neither is that. Okay, let's see. Yep, 3,530. I expected no less. Or at least I expected a lot more. Okay, let's see. What is the question this time? TM28 contains Tombstoner. No, it doesn't. TM28 actually contains Dig. Fire is weak against H2O, which is the chemical compound for water, which is exactly what I'm gonna hit your Pokémon with. I guess learning that in science class actually does help, but it's not that practical, I suppose. 
At least, not in the context of this game. But, whatever. It's still very handy, I suppose, in certain instances. And, oh boy, only four more bubble beams after this. But, coincidentally, the gym leader actually only has four Pokémon. So maybe that's all it's gonna take. Ooh, snuffed out! Water beats fire, but fire melts ice Pokémon. And ice freezes grass. I have no idea where I was going with that one, but whatever. Okay, time to battle with Blaine. Ha! I am Blaine! I am the leader of the Cinnabar Gym! My fiery Pokémon will incinerate all challengers! Ha! You better have burn heal! Isn't that what John the Gym Guy said back at the beginning of the gym? And hello, Mr. Alien! And of course, the same old Growlithe that we've seen all throughout this gym and... Um... Throughout the Pokémon Mansion in red and green. Oh well, it went down just the same, and of course, the ever-present Ponyta, at least on this island. Okay, yet another one-hit KO. Anyway, that took care of a third of the experience required for level 52. And another Rapidash. Still not a match. Well, at this rate, Tsunami really will one-shot this be a one Pokemon army in this gym. Huh? Hydro Pump! Yes! Finally! Okay, let's see. What move do I want to get rid of? Ah, Skull Bash. That's the one that I don't need anymore. Finally! I've been waiting forever for this move. Okay, so now Tsunami's moveset is finally complete, and we'll finish off this gym battle with that new move that you just learned. Hydro Pump. Very nice. It is pretty much the most powerful water-type move in the game. At least I think it is. But still, having learned it this time, right in the middle of the gym battle, that was pretty good timing, actually. I forgot that you learned it at that level. I've burned out! You've earned the Volcano Badge! Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokémon. Here, you can have this too. TM38, which contains Fire Blast. Teach it to Fire Pokémon! Charmeleon or Ponyta would be good to bet. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water, Pokémon! I won't. Then again, I don't have any plans for it, actually. I would probably teach it to my Magmar, but nah. He's already got his full moveset already. Despite having had altered it a bit. Mike, you left that- wait, what? You left- you beat that Firebrand! And now... There's a couple of trainers that I have to defeat over to the east. And complete... I thought I forgot that he had not yet... doesn't have Surf. Okay, so now... Wow, I haven't even left the island... Out. The island hasn't even left our sights yet, and I'm already encountering tentacles that I'm not even going to bother with. Okay... Let's see. These are just gonna be quick little bits of training for Bolt. Cinnabar in the West has a Pokemon- a land for Pokemon. Speaking of which, did I pick up my second fossil from there yet? I don't think I did. I'll probably do that once I finish up here. Oh well, at the very least, Bolt will get some good experience and probably catch up with the others since he's my lowest level of Pokemon at the moment. Well, with Uncle Magma being the highest of them all. Being level 55. That's... In fact, that's even higher than my starter, who should effectively be even higher level than that. Wait! Simbar is a volcanic island. 
Huh, didn't know that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It's been so long since that last happened. <laughs> oh, boy. A wild encounter right in front of a trainer encounter. Or, trainer battle. Yeah! <laughs> See, that, that's... It's been a while since that happened. I think it was probably somewhere in, uh... Uh, where was it last time? I think probably in either Mount Moon or the Rock Tunnel. Actually, no, I think it was in Lavender Tower. Or the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. Yeah, I think that was the last time this had happened. <laughs> uh, I almost completely forgot about that. Oh well, at the very least, that provided a good laugh. Uh, okay. Well, in all honesty, we're, we're almost done with all the random trainer battles on the routes, actually. This is the final route that has trainer battles. There's still one more cave that has trainers in it, but that's pretty much on the road to the Pokemon League anyway. Oh hey, level 49! And defeated beauty. Don't touch my pearls! Will my pearls grow bigger inside Cloyster? Who knows? Oh hey, there was another trainer right below her. I swam here from Sinbar Island. So did I, but you don't see me bragging. But then again, it might have been a, a bit of a big accomplishment for a junior trainer to have swum this far. Considering usually you'd expect to see uh, swimmers here, not junior trainers, I suppose. Oh, Abner. Still an easy battle, easy experience, and a fun time all around. That didn't really make too much sense now that I think about it. But then again, ne neither does most of what I say. I'm so disappointed. Pokemon have taken over an abandoned mansion on Sidmar. That info would have been more useful before I even went there. I rode my bird Pokemon here. You don't say. Well, let's just see how strong the, these three Pokemon of yours are. Oh, hey, it's a Furo. Hmm. I don't know why, but if you tilt your head, Furo kinda looks like a giant mustache. <laughs> That's just one weird thing that you can notice when you're not thinking about too much stuff, I suppose. And another hero. Uh, let's see. Anyone up for fried heroes? Because I'm pretty sure that Bolt here is, because he's doing the frying. Uh, hey, it's a Pidgeotto. Six levels and that thing will be ready to evolve. Too bad we won't be seeing it evolving in this LP. Oh no! My birds can't fly me back! Yes they can. If they know the move fly, then they can always fly you back even if they're knocked out. Check out my buff physique! Uh, how about I check out your Pokémon and you check out mine? How's that sound? Uh, just one star you? Well, maybe you should try t training up your Pokemon a bit more rather than training up your yourself. Although, you could have also done a mix of the two. That could probably be beneficial to both you and your Pokemon. Wimpy! I should have been buffing up my Pokemon, not me. Case in point. And this here's the last random trainer. Oh wait, actually, no, no, I'm wrong. There's two others. And, uh, I passed by one early on in the game because I couldn't battle her. Are you on vacation too? Sort of. I'm sort of on vacation. If you count becoming a Pokemon trainer a vacation, then yeah, it's a full-time vacation, actually. Other than that, uh... Actually, yeah, I'd still say yes, because I'm on summer vacation at the time of recording this. Eh, 
Let's see. Horsey. I'm almost out of Thunderbolts, but it doesn't matter because I have enough for her last Pokemon. And then I'm gonna fly to the town with the next gym immediately. Oh, that was convenient! And Seal. It evolves into one of my favorite water types of all, Dugong, which I'm using in red. And that takes care of that trainer. No mercy at all! Seafoam used to be one island. Yes, it did. And now... Crud! I forgot that I left all my flying Pokémon back at Cine in the PC on Cinnabar Island. Well then, that was a bit of a hindsight on my part. I should have brought out my flying Pokémon with me. <laughs> wow, I sure did make a lot of distance. I would have said made a lot of ground, but I'm in the open sea. No, 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 I didn't want to go to items. And, wow, only one encounter. Okay, let's get me a flying Pokemon. Although I could also just surf straight back up. Uh, let's see, let's put away Uncle Magma, he's... plenty strong. Oh yeah, I got these guys off screen at the, uh... Uh, game corner after winning up enough coins. And surprisingly, Porygon is... Actually, all of them were a lot cheaper than they were back in red and green. I don't know why, maybe they intended for red and green to be... or red and blue to have different difficulties or something, but I don't know for sure. Okay, let's put it back in my... Pokemon Uncle Magma that I just put away so then I can have my full team with me. Thanks for the trip, Super Spear. It's good to see you again. And real quick, oops. Let's check out the Pokedex rating, because I think I have 92 Pokemon now. Oh, 91, close enough. I'm impressed! It must have been difficult to do. Yes, it has been, but it's been worth the while and don't bump into people. Now then, you remember the gym here in Viridian City and how it was locked up? Well, now it's unlocked. The gym leader has now returned. As we'll find out from this guy. Green gym leader returned. Wow, that was very blunt. Uh, I'm not gonna check that thing, my rivals. Joey's already been here before. Yo, champion making. Even I don't know Brian Leader's identity. This'll be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here are like ground type Pokemon. Actually, they like a mix of fighting, ground, and poison types for some odd reason. Uh, let's go with star power. Let's. I'll let him. Why is there an item here, and why are these spinny tiles from the rocket base here? Uh, oh well. Whatever. Time to see how well I can defeat these guys in 10 minutes. Heh, <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. You're the first person I'm battling. How can I be running out of steam if I just entered the building? Seriously, think about these things. If you just heard the door open, why would you think that the trainer is just about to beat it? But then again, maybe he was intended to be one of the last trainers that you battled, but then got relocated closer to the entrance. Oh well, at the very least, that does not matter too much to me. Oh crud. Uh, you know what? I'm slower than him anyway. Oh, I'm... What? Okay, that was kind of weird. He took three turns to dig? What the crud? 
That was very weird. I seriously did not expect that sort of turn of events to happen. I ran out of gas. You need power to keep up with our gym leader. Eh, I think I'm gonna do well on my own, just as I've been doing. Roar! I'm working myself into a rage! Calm down, Mr. Explosion Head. Because otherwise, you're gonna have to answer to my Amistar. Yeah, let's go with, uh. Hydro Pump. Crud. Well, it. It's not the most accurate of wire moves, but it's the most powerful of them all. But I still prefer using Surf over it due to it having perfect accuracy. Aside from when hit by, uh... Uh... By Sand Attack and other accuracy learning moves, of course, those always stink. Let's see, uh, let's go Psychic. I still have yet to show what Blizzard looks like, considering this is the first time that the has appeared in this video. Let's see... What does that other guy have to say? Arg! I'm still not worthy. Um, Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Are you like a rock star or something? Nope, he's a tamer. Oh well. I guess there's not much of a difference between the two, and I should probably heal up star power after this next battle. But actually, I think I'll wait till I'm right before the gym leader, actually, because then it'll be worth it to do so. In fact, I think I'll switch to Tsunami. You're in perfect harmony. Oh wait, actually, no, I want to switch out to Lola, because I know that there's somebody here that has fighting types. I think he's right past this guy. A truly talented woman with style! Uh, whatever you say, pal. Cool trainer. I haven't seen one of those in quite a while. Or am I thinking of a different type of trainer? Let's let's show off Blizzard. The ultimate ice type attack. In later games it has terrible accuracy and isn't even worth using, but in this one it's worth using. I lost my grip. The leader will scold me. And just getting this guy out of the way. Or later. I'm the Karate King, your fate rests with me! Okay, well, since you're a karate person, a black belt, all you have are fighting types! Which is why I sent out my Ice Psychic Pokemon. Who knows Psychic, <laughs> by the way? Man, we're really tearing apart these random trainers. Oh well, at the very least, it's making quick work of them. I mean, there's not much strategy in this gym, if you know what to expect from certain trainers. I mean, there's like, probably three black belts here, and the rest are probably tamers. So when I see them, I'll switch my lead to someone else, and oh, 51 levels. Okay. Aya! Pokemon League? You? Don't get cocky. Okay, that guy is a bit rude. Let's see, I think over here... Hmm. Okay, that guy's a tamer, so I think I'll send out Tsunami. There we go. Let's go through the teleport. Or the teleport? What? The the uh, spinning tiles. Pokemon will cut our power crack of my whip. No, they won't. I'm just saying that they are not scared of anything, especially not a guy who holds a lollipop for no apparent reason. And one reason why I decided to go with Tsunami is Earthquake on Arbok. 
which is super effective. And next up is Tauros. I don't think we've seen one actually until just now. Well, anyway, Tauros is a normal type Pokemon based on a bull with three tails for whatever reason. I have no, no idea. Okay, let's finish this with Strength. And they can only be found in the Safari Zone, by the way. Yeah, Triple Ash! Wait, I was just careless. Sure you were. Spinning, spinning, spinning. I see a black belt. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, Lola, your turn. Let's see. Cry is the ultimate form of martial arts. And I think this is the last of the trainers. So next, after this guy, I'm going straight for the gym leader. Wow, only one Pokemon? In oh, it's in a macho. Of course it would be. Let's just hit him with Psychic and get this over with. Because I'm kind of anxious to get to the Pokemon League in the next episode. But of course, I also want to finish the Pokedex as good as I can before then. My Pokemon were as good as Ekrai as I, and they probably might have had a better chance. Oh wait, there's this guy. Free and Jim was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. That's only closed for like one and a half days. At least, as far as counting the hours on the game's clock goes. Oh well. Can't blame him though, because I guess one and a half days would probably be too long for a Pokemon trainer to wait. Especially if they're very impatient. Let's see, Nido King. Fully evolved form of the male Nidoran. Haven't seen one of these in quite a while, I think. Let's see, that is that enough? Yes it is. There we go, the last trainer is done. I was beaten? You can go on to Pokemon League only by defeating our gym leader. Okay, let's see, is this the quicker one of the two? Yes it is, okay. That's good. So now, you just have to go up this path and over here. Considering now I've cleared the path by battling that one black belt over there, I can just head on over to see who the gym leader is. Oh crud. It's him again. Giovanni. Well, you know what? Let's end this right now. Ha <laughs> ha This is my hideout! I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here, but you have caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Okay, Giovanni. Seems like you just can't learn your lesson now, can you? I'm going to pretty much put you in your place right here, right now, the best way that I can, with a Pokemon battle to determine the fate of basically the Kanto region, maybe, as far as protecting it from Team Rocket's tyranny. We've come so very far in these past 40 videos, actually, and we've defeated all Team Rocket gained so many levels, probably over a hundred of them, between all six of my party members. And so, yeah. And also, Team Rocket here has caused tons of problems for the various citizens of all the towns that they've inhabited. Oh crud. Paralyzed. That's not good. So, I think it's only fitting that we end this right here, and right now, by defeating Giovanni of Team Rocket. You know what? I'm actually fighting for a good cause right now, because this here is probably going to be the final blow 
for that Cubone back in Lavender Town who became an orphan because of your because of your underlings of Team Rocket. So, Giovanni, how does it feel to be on the losing end of the battle? Even if you have the original Pokemon that was designed for the series, I doubt it's going to do you any good. So, this is for that Cubone. Uh-oh. That didn't do quite as much as I had hoped. But this will. Oh, crud. Okay, I know just what to do. I think I have... Full Restore. I think that heals both HP and heals off paralysis or a status ailment. Wow, 130 guard special. Okay, now... Hydro Pump! And that ends it. Team Rocket is now officially defeated. And so is Giovanni. He won't be in uh, a problem anymore. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. That's the second time that you get a badge in the battle itself, actually. The first was Brock. The Earth Badge makes Pokémon of any level obey. It is evidence set of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokémon League. It is my gift for your Pokémon League challenge. And he gives us TM27, which is the Fisher TM. It will take out Pokémon with just one hit. I made it when I ran the gym here too long ago. Any last words? Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokémon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. <sighs> and as such, that is the true end to Team Rocket. They are no longer going to be a problem here in Kanto. So now... Let's see what John has to say. Blow me away! Giovanni was the gym leader here? Yep, you got that right. Leader Giovanni. When he turns Joey and me. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Blue version, I'm going to start heading towards uh, the Pokemon League, which is just west of Viridian City. But before I do that, I... Oh boy, I need to complete the Pokedex. I'll be doing that off-screen, of course. We've already seen the majority of the Pokémon there that are in the game already. All that... I'll basically start off the next video with probably just a whole run-through of all the new Pokémon that I've caught and added to the Pokedex, because... See, we've got 91 of them. All I need is to fill out these last few Pokedex entries and pick up that Aerodactyl that I left back at Cinnabar. Okay, see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. See you then.